From UPN's Duresta, Leela Kensel. Comedian George Wallace. Basketball great John Sally. Comedian Jake Johansson. Writer comedian Bruce Valanche. And starring Whoopi Goldberg with Tom Bergeron, your host. All on Hollywood Square. on Hollywood Squares, and good to have the Gang of Nine assembled in their appropriate squares. Hello, stars. Hello. Hello. Good to have you on board, and let's uh, welcome our contestants to the show as well. Miss Circle, tell us a bit about yourself. Hello, my name is Grace Rowe. I'm originally from Queens, New York. Hey. Uh, I recently graduated from UCLA with a bachelor's degree in theater arts, and Ooh. I'm currently working as a writer's assistant to a professor who's writing a book about acting. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. All right. Well, good luck. Good to have you with us. Mr. X, tell us about yourself. My name is Shane Sinutko. I'm a nutritional consultant for a multi-level marketing company, a sixth-generation okay. native to California, and very excited to be here. Well, we're glad to have you here. Did, you know what? Did, does he look like Rupert Everett to you at all, from Rupert Everett, the actor? A little bit? Turn no. No. No, no. 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 Not at all. No. Not at all. No. Okay. Just wrong. Okay, no. fine. All right, then let's tell you how to win the game then. <laughs> uh, you got to get three of these uh, difficult to deal with stars in a row, either across, <laughs> up and down, or diagonally. You have to decide if the answers are giving are correct or they're just making them up. That's how you get the squares. First game worth $1,000. Grace, I hear you won the toss backstage. Yes, I did. So you get to start. Okay, I'm going to go with Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi. <laughs> You're driving along, much like in the open of our show, you're yeah. driving along when suddenly you find yourself in the Badlands. Where are you? Well, if it's you, Tom, it's Harlem. <laughs> but if it... <laughs> you understand the depth of that joke? Utah, Utah. No, no. All right, Utah. <laughs> Utah? That's uh, what he's that's, saying. Oh, okay. I, I listen to other black people. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got that one, though. <laughs> right, I, I'm going to say uh, Southern Utah. Southern Utah, okay. Uh, I disagree. South Dakota or Nebraska? Good. It's in both states, actually. <laughs> Circle gets the square. All right, <laughs> uh, Shane. Uh, I'd like to go with Robert Klein. Robert Sorry. Klein. Oh. All right, Robert. The general public can keep tabs on all the daily goings on in Congress by reading what? Hustler Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whipping annual in Hustler Magazine. The Congressional Record, I think. I disagree. The Congressional Record, yes. Circle mm. gets the square. Oh, okay. Grace, back at you. Okay, I'm going to go with Jake Johansson for the win. Jake for the win. All right, Jake. Oh, righty. Jake, what is the most common last name in the world? Ooh. I would hate to give a Wong answer, but I'm going to say Wong. <laughs> oh, I disagree. Chang. <laughs> Chang is the most common. Circle gets the square and the win for $1,000. Congratulations, Grace. But uh, Shane, you can come back. Shane, you can come back with another $1,000 game right after this. This would be a hit at any fair. There's only one rule at the fair. You gotta stand out or go home. Like the best woman wins. The best woman's gonna be me. Here we go. Savory. I'm gonna pray a little bit. Sweet. Yummy. Sizzling. Incredible. And on a stick. Come on down, let's talk about your food. Fried green tomatoes. Fried lemonade. Best thing I tasted today. Oh. All's fair at the fair in the battle for best fryer. <laughs> Deep Fried Masters. Tonight at 8 on Game TV. Classic clues, <laughs> random guesses, <laughs> and one irreverent host. I feel we're bonding. <laughs> Celebrities are the name of the game. You get that you're playing for twenty thousand dollars. They were roommates. He's gay. Oh no, my no. god. He's a bug in a Disney movie. <laughs> I'll get you, my pretty. Oh, she is dating. Welcome back to 
to Hollywood Squares. We're going to get going with another $1,000 game and add a nice little wrinkle to it. It'll be a secret square game. If either of you picks the secret square and is correct, you will win this. It's time to relax as you head for the sun in beautiful Jamaica. It's a trip worth over $4,700. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. All righty. Grace, you won the last game. You get to start the secret square game. Okay, I'm going to go with Whoopi Goldberg again. Whoopi! Whoopi! I have hallucinations, attack windmills, and I have a sidekick named Sancho Panza. Who am I? <laughs> Do I care? No. <laughs> no. Don Quixote. I disagree. <laughs> Don Grace. Quixote. Grace, honey. X gets the Grace. square. Ooh, that one hurt. Grace. All right, Shane. I didn't even do a joke, Grace. I did no joke, baby. Uh, I'd like to go with uh, Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra. Sandra, by the way, making your Broadway debut in November. That's right. Yeah. And the show is? I'm still here, damn it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sandra, in an LA Times survey, 22% of Americans say that what could be replaced by a hamster without anyone noticing? <laughs> the Vice President of the United States. <laughs> um, and probably their spouse. I disagree. Their bosses could be replaced oh. by a hamster. Oh. Yes, X gets the square. All right, Grace. Okay, I'm going to go with Leela Kenzel for the block. Leela Kenzel from Duresta on UPN. Mad about you. Leela, Miss Yvonne, the king of cartoons, and Conky the robot were all on what show? Um, Pee Wee Herman's Playhouse, of course. I agree. Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah. Circle gets the square and the block. <laughs> all right, Shane. I'd like to go with uh, Bruce Valanche, please. Bruce Valanche. All right, Bruce. Got the bug shirt on this game. Bruce, who were Eugene Bubbles Hargrave, Dave Beauty Bancroft, and Johnny Honey Romano? They are the stars of the new all-gay Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> Which I will be tuning in nightly. <laughs> gay watch, they call it. <laughs> new life preserver for you. <laughs> uh, well, I, Robert Klein would kill me if I didn't know this. They were baseball players. I agree. They were baseball players. Yes, X gets the square. <laughs> All right, Grace. Okay, I'm going to go with Robert Klein for the block. All right, Robert. <laughs> Robert, the first one of these opened in 1933 in Camden, New Jersey. It was a 10-acre site with room for 400 cars. What was it? This was the first and ill-fated drive-through shoe shine establishment. <laughs> the people would open the doors, they stick their shoes out, the brushes would get them. But they really were too big at 400 cars. That was the first drive-in movie. I agree. That's right, first drive-in movie. Circle gets the square. <laughs> All right, Shane. I'd like to go with Luke Perry for the block. Okay. You know what? Maybe it might have gone with John Sally for the win, but this could work out. We'll see. Luke, what yeah. movie features John Travolta, Deborah Winger, and a mechanical bull? <laughs> yeah. Uh, mm, Urban Cowboy. Uh, I agree. Urban Cowboy, yeah. right. X gets the square. Grace. Okay, I'm going to try my luck with George Wallace for the block. George Wallace for the block. Appears regularly on the Tom Joyner Morning Show, nationally syndicated. George, Axel Rose, Izzy Stadlin, Duff McKagan, Stephen Adler, and Slash are collectively known as what? Members of the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> <laughs> They're in that group with they shoot people guns and they give them fl guns and roses. I agree. Guns and roses, <laughs> yes. Circle gets the square and the block. I'd like to go with John Sally. John Sally, <laughs> okay. Oh! Oh, it's not only for the win, 
but for the secret square as well, John. Okay, Eskimos love their mukluks. Is a mukluk a boat, a boot, or a sled dog? Can you repeat that? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Eskimos love their mukluks. Is a mukluk a boat, a boot, or a sled dog? Sled dog. I disagree. A boot. So X gets the square. You get the win. And you also get this. Wyndham Rose Hall Golf and Beach Resort just outside Montego Bay. Rose Hall offers championship golf, tennis, water sports, and a private white sand beach. Wyndham Rose Hall, the jewel of Jamaica. This trip to exotic Jamaica is worth $4,734. And those girls are always there on horseback, too, by the way, Shane. They'll be there riding horses when you get there. Congratulations. Our next game's worth uh, $2,000. Now, should we run out of time in this or any other game, every square you have on the board will be worth $500. That's important. Counts towards your cash total. Whoever has the most cash is the champion. Now, you won the last one on the secret square. You get to start this one. I'd like to go with Robert Klein. All right, Robert. <laughs> was the largest single donor to Washington politicians in 1996? Was it a computer company, tobacco company, or phone company? It was the Chinese government. <laughs> <laughs> None of the above. Uh, uh, phone company. Did you say phone company? That was one of the choices. Phone right? companies. I disagree. Tobacco company. X oh. gets the square. All right, Grace? Okay, I'm going to go with Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi. Hey, Grace. Okay. <laughs> Whoopi, what, uh, what game did Alfred Butts invent? <laughs> Look out. <laughs> I can't be good. I'm not going to say any things that are just hanging from my lips. That's hanging from your lips? Yes. <laughs> um, what? Yeah. Ignore them. Uh, Uno. I agree. Alfred Butts invented Scrabble. X gets the oh. square. I'm sorry, Grace. All right, Shane. <laughs> Jake Johansson Jake for the win. Jake Johansson for the win. Break this tie. All right, Jake. If a man, if a man is on a date with a woman and she starts playing with her hair, body language experts say this is a sign of what? Bugs. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna, it's, uh, she's bored. I agree. She's flirting. Ooh. Circle gets the square. Ooh. You're still in this race. We'll find out how we do when we come back. Continue this game right after this. Game TV breaks. tiebreaker game underway, a $2,000 game, and Grace, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to go with John Sally. All right, John Sally, host of the Fox Family Channels. I can't believe you said that. John, in his deal with the devil, Dr. Faustus sells his soul in exchange for what? Powerball tickets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say <laughs> immortality. I agree. Knowledge and power. Mm -hmm. X gets the square. Mm -hmm. All right, Shane. I'd like to go with Bruce Valanche for the win. All right, Bruce. Bruce for the win. Bruce, the, the mating behavior of this animal is a quick chase around the pond. It then lays two eggs, even though it is a mammal. What is it? Princess Margaret. <laughs> no more mating I've been there right now. <laughs> it is a, um, it's a mammal and... Um, the duck-billed platypus. I agree. The duck-billed platypus. X gets the square and the win, adding another $2,000 to your total. All right. We got time to get right into another game. This game is worth $4,000. And Shane, since you won the last one, you start this one. I'd like to go with Bruce Valanche. Bruce Valanche. All right, Bruce, back at you. Bruce, in the old song, how long is the Camp Town racetrack? You want to sing this with me? Sure. Oh, you can't come and break this five miles long. Do da, do da. Five miles. I agree. All the do-da-day, right? Five miles. X gets the square. Just All right, 
Grace. Okay, I'm gonna go with Leela Kenzel, please. Leela Kenzel. Leela. Uh, Leela. Dick York and Dick Sargent played the same role on what TV series? Oh, if I twitched my nose, you would know. Bewitched. I agree. Bewitched. Circle gets the square. Yeah. Yes. All right, Shane. I'd like to go with Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi, okay. Whoopi. Why does what? Healthy Living Magazine say a person should drink a glass of cold pickle juice? Ooh. Because hot pickle juice don't taste good. <laughs> I, you know. No, you know what it actually, this is, this is the truth, and I know this today because I've just done it, because I have to do this. It's to uh, stop a fever. I agree. It cures hangovers. Circle <laughs> gets the square. <laughs> Seems so honest, too. Well, that, that may be why I don't feel any better. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with the amazing Sandra Bernhardt. Sandra, yeah. for the win. All right, Sandra, okay. you start a new job. Men's Health says that within two weeks, chances are you'll have what? A sexual harassment case. <laughs> 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 no, seriously, probably a fight with a co-worker. I disagree. You'll have what Whoopi's dealing with, a cold. Ah. Circle Ooh. gets the square and the win, adding $4,000 to your total. Can we go? Oh. Well, that answers my question for us. Well, we can't go into another game. We are out of time. Shane, you've got $3,000 and a Jamaican vacation. How about that for a half hour's work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks for being with us in uh, Hollywood Squares today. Good to have you on board. But, Grace, it's the matter of money that determines a champion. You've got $5,000. You, Grace, are our champion. Congratulations. And when we come back, we'll get a shot at a bonus prize you could drive away from here in a brand new car. We'll find out when Hollywood Squares continues right after this. Working to make your travel experience easier and more comfortable. It's a new direction they're taking. It's a new way to fly. United Airlines rising. Grace Rowe here is our champion with $5,000. It's all that research you did on acting. See, you could tell when they were bluffing, maybe, is what happened. You got $5,000 in cash. Now you go on to possibly win a bonus prize. Our stars have prizes totaling over $100,000. Let's hear what you can win. Today's incredible bonus prizes include a check for $10,000, a trip to Hawaii worth over $6,000, and a sporty new car worth over $21,000. Okay. All right, feeling good? All right, good stuff. Pick a star. If you get their final question right, you win the prize. Okay, I'm going to go with Sandra Bernhardt. All right, Sandra. What are we playing for, Sandra? Let's see what we have for you. Ooh. Ooh. This is exciting. A Hawaiian vacation. Okay. All right, good luck. Good luck. Uh, get the little question out of here. Which of these is one of the colors of the spectrum? Magenta? Indigo or purple is one of the colors of the spectrum. Magenta, indigo, or purple? I'd say, um, purple. I agree. Indigo. Indigo, yeah. Sorry, but you know what? Now, here's a little, a little, indigo we're going to give you $2,500 in feel better money anyway. All right, add it to your total. That brings your total in cash to $7,500. Grace, congratulations. Good to have you with us. That was a hard one. Good to have you with us in Hollywood Square. We got, we got a little time. I want to ask Jake Johansson, anything on your mind at all, Jake? Anything at all? I, you know, I'm confused by this news story now where these women keep having a lot of babies at one time. Right. Like that woman in Iowa had seven babies, which mm -hmm. to me is too many <laughs> babies. And they always interview the husband and ask him, what, you know, what do you think? And he's always like, it's a miracle. I, you know, if I had seven babies, I think I would be out in front of the hospital with a box um, <laughs> of babies. And uh, <laughs> maybe a little sign that says three babies, you know. Three. To a good home. Just like kittens. You'd just be out yeah, there. Yeah, I would give them yeah. to a good home, you know. Yeah. Hey, that's a nice are tattoo. You, Enjoy your Jake, son. Are you, are you a father? No, I'm not. Oh, yet. thank no, God. I, All right. <laughs> See you next time on Hollywood Square. <laughs> Promotional consideration furnished by the following. 